So the first thing I want to do is pull in our reference. So to do that, I'm going to go out of the perspective view. I just tap the space bar over this window, and then I can go to the side view, and I'll tap the space bar, and I can zoom into that. I'm going to go to View, and go to Image Plane, and Import Image. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where my images are. I've got a version that I flipped because I took a photograph of the uh, other side of this. It's facing this direction. I wanted to go in this way. So in Photoshop, I just flipped it. So I'm going to go ahead and open for that. And then now I'm going to take the scale tool, hit R, and just scale that image plane up. And then I'll zoom back out. I'll tap the space bar, go back into perspective. And image planes are just like pieces of geometry where you can kind of push this thing around. If I tap the space bar again, I can see all the different views on here. And I can zoom out a little bit on here like this. Now what I did notice is that I was working at a really large scale before and I wasn't able to see um, this image plane show up. And it was because my camera I had to if you go ahead and select uh, control A that'll open up the attribute for it there's a near clipping plane for the camera and a far clipping plane for the camera and I had to add another zero to this far clipping plane and then it finally showed up like I said that was because I was working with a really large scale before so if you see anything like that you might have to add maybe another zero for this like this and like this for this thing um, if you notice any weird kind of black shading on stuff, sometimes the perspective, like if you're zoomed out, you might see some weird black sizzling on stuff. You might have to increase this near uh, clip plane, which let's see the default I think is set to point 0.1. I had to set some of the other cameras to, to 1. Uh, you can do that or maybe 10 or something like that. But that'll get you to the point where you've got the image plane in. Now, I took this Nerf gun and I actually took a ruler and measured out and it was roughly about... Uh, let's say 20, 29 centimeters from this point to the back point of the handle here. So I just made a new cube and you can go say create polygon primitives, turn off interactive creation. I'm going to use a cube, do the option box like this and you can take the width and height. I'll just make this 29 and 29 and 29 and this is basically centimeters with inside of Maya and go ahead and hit apply and that'll create a cube for you that is 29 centimeters. So because we know we've got this distance and we know the distance from here to the back of this is roughly 29 centimeters, we can now take this, I'm going to go to the side view. If I tap 4, I can see wireframe and I can still see that image plane. I'll take this and let's just try to scale this thing down like this and I'm going to try to get it in the right dimensions for this. So I'm getting real close here and I don't think it has to be you know perfect because like I said I just took a rough estimate of um, how how long it is from this point to this point. Um, so um, we could leave it right there if you wanted to make it uh, you know whole numbers for things you could just type over here in the channel box stuff like that. Um, and maybe I go one point Two or something like that and that just gives me a nice whole number to work with so now I've got a uh, reference set up at least for the the main view on this thing that I probably want to be working with is this um, this kind of side view like what we've got going on here so everything's set up for that and we should be ready to start uh, making some shapes and modeling on this thing